Hey everyone, it's Christina Steiner. I'm going to show you a quick, um, easy way to assess your students using drag and drop activities. So I've been working with my students on um, words that um, blend into rhythms, like many of you do in your classrooms, I'm sure. Um, and I want to be able to assess that they're, they're understanding it. So I created this um, page here, and all they have to do is go in and drag the rhythm to match whichever words um, it goes to. So it's a super easy activity that you can do um, and create, and I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So I created this slide and then I saved it as a, as a background. Um, so when you do that, you're gonna go up to File and you're gonna go to Download and then download it as a JPEG. Once you've downloaded it, then you can make a new slide and you can create that as a background. So you're gonna find that image my downloads. There it is. And the reason that you're doing that is because you don't want the kids to be able to move any of these, these boxes here. These are all stuck now. So now what I have to do is I have to go in and I have to insert these rhythms on top. So I put them here just for easy access. So I'm going to add this rhythm right on top of there so I can move it so you can see it. I'm going to insert it right over it so that it looks like it's just part of the, the background. It's part of the image. And I'm actually going to add a couple of them in a row because I want them to be able to move it. And if they think that maybe this one's supposed to go with that rhythm too, they can move it there. And I can see that they got that wrong. So I'm going to actually add up, usually add like four of them. So let me add a couple more. And I just drag them right on top of each other. So it looks like there's almost an infinite number of that box there. And then I would do the same thing with these two boxes. So then what I would do is when I send this to my kids, I'm going to make a copy for each kid. So in Google Classroom, you know how you can click make a copy for each student. That's really important to do because when they do this, I have a text box right here that's going to, oops, on this one. I have a text box right here where they can, they can add their name and then they can move their rhythms. And then when they're done, they can hit share and it will come to me with um, their answers and not anybody else's answers. And I can assess easily if they know what they're doing or not. Um, I'm going to put this up for free. You can, you are more than welcome to use it and um, it's totally edible. So if you want to change the words or add more to it, you are more than welcome to. And as always, you can always ask me any questions you need. Um, I'm here to help and I'm happy to help. Have a great day.